All right, this is the Ugly Quacky Duck Podcast. We are here to talk to you about anything that is not average. The show is about a little paranormal, a little bit about truth, and maybe quite a bit about sci-fi. Do you have questions you want answered? <laughs> well, this may not be the correct show for that. We will probably create more head-scratching questions than you started with, and hopefully a few laughs along the way. So on with the show. Hey, hey, hey! How's everybody doing? We've made it through 2022. It's now 2023, and you're probably well into the weekend after the celebration, or maybe even to the second week before you even hear this audio. So welcome to the show. We're glad you all made it, and we're glad you're all here. We're glad to say hello. Yep, I hope none of you are suffering from what they call the after depression. Yep, I bet you never heard of that. I just made it up. But anyway, <laughs> it happens to everybody. Man, you you know, you get excited, you prepare, and you make plans. You throw the calendar away, put up a new one, and yay! You wake up the next day and it's like, oh, I got to go to work. You're the same person, same problems. It hasn't went away just because we changed the date. But however, we got a new year. That's a perfect time to start the changes, the plans, you know, the purpose. So let's do that. If you've already started that, don't give up. Keep it going because you will see changes. It will get better. Yes. 2023 is for us to work on to get better. So here we go. Let's do it to it. Maybe we'll have a lot of fun over the process of this next year, and we're all going to do it together. So tune into the show, and let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for tuning into the show, and I appreciate it. We did take a break over the holidays, over Christmas and New Year. Um, I don't know if you heard our latest podcast, but it was a compilation of the last year. And I thought it turned out pretty good. If you haven't got a chance to listen to it, go back and listen to it. So now that we are into the 2023 year, um, we're hoping to start fresh. Uh, put together some good shows for everybody. Uh, today, we've got a surprise for you, though. I'd like to introduce uh, my companion. I haven't been able to get him on here before, but I want to introduce you to Sonny. Sonny, say hi. Hey. That wasn't hi. This is hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> That's Sonny. Yeah, the Ugly Quacking Ducks got us voice. Yay. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Hey, why did you just now introduce me? I've been around for a long time. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> funny thing is, 2023, we're starting out with a new mixer board. And uh, it has Wi-Fi. No, not Wi-Fi. Uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, that's what it is. It has Bluetooth on it, yay, which allows me to hook up to my phone via Bluetooth or a headphone for a phone. I don't know if you guys have seen those little bitty uh, microphone, earphone pieces that go over your ear and they're not very big and they hook into your phone through Bluetooth. Well, guess what? We put one of those on Sunny. Oh, that's what that little contraption is. I thought you was going to fry my brain. <laughs> but you didn't. <laughs> All right, that's not even funny. But no, we uh, tried to hook up a mic to you, if you remember, uh, back <laughs> several, several, maybe even a year ago. And you clipped kept squirming and running around and you know it's kind of hard to chase you with a microphone and a cable 
uh, and then try to put a headphones on you just didn't work. So with this new, I know, I know, I know. With this new piece, it just sticks right there, and I can talk. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty well it. Yep, you got it. So everybody, welcome, Sonny. He's aboard for now. If I get tired of his um, continuing annoyance, I will take his headphone off and you won't be able to hear him no more. <laughs> but he's here to keep me occupied while Lily and all my other guests are not available to keep me from going crazy in solitude. So he does have a purpose. I want to eat. I got a purpose. <laughs> hey, I want to tell a joke. Oh, no. Come on. Not now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to tell a joke. Ah. Uh, okay. We'll listen to your joke. Hey, all right. Are you ready for this? This is a good one. All right, here you go. How do celebrities stay cool? Well, I don't know. How do celebrities stay cool? They have a lot of fans. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, I liked it. Of course you did. Good grief. <sighs> anyway, I'm glad everybody's listening. Thank you for being aboard of the show, the first one for 2023. And I hope you uh, stick through it the whole time. If you haven't shut it off now, then there's probably a good, good percentage that you're going to stay with us for quite a while, even with uh, Sonny around. Hey, 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 I got a question for you. What? How come, how come, are you ready? How come you name me Sonny? Well, let me think about that. Because there's never a dull moment with you around. <laughs> okay, I'll buy that. Never a dull moment. Hmm, does that mean I'm fun? Well, I don't know about that, but you are funny. Weird in a way. Oh, no, no, I'm not weird. You're weird. I'm not weird, you're weird. You're weird. You're weird. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Good grief. Get control of yourself. Quit enjoying the microphone. I know you're hearing yourself through that speaker and it's you're getting excited hey that's just part of podcasting so calm down take a deep breath okay like that okay well <laughs> that's kind of a deep breath but it sounded kind of short but anyway there you go you got the uh, gist of it so calm down and let's do some podcasting normally. Wait a minute. There's probably not such a thing. But anyway, Sonny, I'm glad to have you aboard. It's uh, pretty cool being able to get you tied down to a microphone finally. Um, I'm glad I got this new box because it allows me to do that. Plus, I have uh, four microphone hookups. And I have a cable that I can plug into the back of it and plug into my phone so i can still keep you going and have a caller come in too so that's going to help hey i like that idea but i want to be the main guy of course you do but uh, we're not going to do that you may take me out of business if you're on all the time oh, i wouldn't do that but uh, i would enjoy it <laughs> okay all right, let's see what else we can talk about today. Uh, have you watched any good movies? Well, of course I have. You know that. You've been here. Well, true. I have. Uh, did you watch Nope with me? Of course. That was cool. All right. Well, for the folks out there, we watched a movie called Nope, N-O-P-E. And it was a pretty good show. Yeah, it was. I liked it. We come back and forth and back and forth, and then it was. Um, I'm not even sure how to, how that description fits, but okay, Sonny. 
the movie was pretty good. Uh, when it first starts out, it was a little strange. Uh, the actors and actresses in the show were putting on some kind of weird vibe, and I was going through my head trying to figure out why they... Yeah, you was going through your head all right. You was trying to figure out what's in there. Nothing. All right, Sonny, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. But anyway, we uh, thought that the sh actors and actresses was portraying such weird characters. And I couldn't figure out why they had written them that way. They did a good job. Don't get me wrong. The characters were really good. But uh, they, I just didn't understand why they did that. And then when we got about um, halfway through the movie... Um, when the main storyline started coming out and really presenting itself well, and you understood what was going on, then it was like, yeah, this whole show's weird. So they they did that. They brought it all together in a good way. Um, the weirdness of the characters bonded real well with the weirdness of the show. So it was a good show. I thought I, I liked it. What did you think of it? Really? No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I thought. I thought that, yeah, it was pretty good, but I didn't know animals acted that way. I couldn't do that. I would be freaked out trying to eat people. Well, go ahead and spoil the show. Good grief. Anyway, uh, yeah, I could see that. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it, to... Uh, to be that animal but anyway we won't tell no more about the show because that's going to spoil it but if you get a chance to watch it uh it's called nope n-o-p-e and i actually went through walmart yesterday and it, it was on their sales thing for 9.96 so it's not high priced but uh, i think we watched it on um hbo max or some some of those shows i don't remember which one but it was pretty good. Well, therefore, Sonny, we need to uh, continue on, okay? Let's continue on. Guess what we haven't done in a long time? Never mind, don't guess. I don't want to hear your answer. Uh, we haven't done the earthquake thing in a long time because we haven't been doing a show in quite a while. We took that break. And uh, so I want to go back to the earthquakes and tell everybody what's happened for the last seven days. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're going to bore everybody to death. Okay, stop. Stop. That's not true. There's somebody out there, I'm sure, that likes to hear what's going on in the world of earthquakes. Besides me. There's got to be at least one person. So, for that one person out there... Tune in and listen. Here we go. So, for the last seven days, we have had a count of 1,712 earthquakes, which is a lot lower than we've had in the past. So, 1,712. And uh, for the last seven days of those, that were 2.5 and over were 275. And then of those all, 4.5 and over, there were 93. And then the largest one was a 7.6, which is huge in Indonesia. So they've had some uh, wild rides over there. And I guess you've all heard about California. Yeah, I think it was right before Christmas or right afterwards they had that 6.4 in Northern California. And then around New Year's, they had a 5.5. So they've been hammered. And if you look on the earthquake map, it's just a, a bunch of circles. Uh, they're really getting hit over there. So, uh, you know... Uh, I was telling my wife about the earthquakes, and she said, I remember when I was a kid, I used to tell everybody California's going to just fall off into the ocean one day, and um, that'll be it. Oh, you mean Big Splash? 
Yeah, that would be cool to watch. Let's go to California. Well, now listen, Sonny. If we're going to go to California and it's going to fall in the ocean, where do you think you're going to be? Uh, in the water. Oh, that's right. You can swim. And you like water. So forget that old idea because I don't like, well, I do like the water. But I don't think I could swim that well in the ocean after California went in. So let's just say we did and don't and hope it doesn't go in the ocean. What do you think about that? Uh, did, but we don't. And it don't go in the ocean. Let me think. Okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you got that. That's pretty cool. Hey, Brooke. Uh, what'd you say? Hey, Brooke. Um, my name's Bruce, you know, Bruce. Uh, no, it's not. It's Brooke. Uh, that's not how you pronounce my name. You know that. I've told you a thousand and one times. Uh, no. Uh, it's Brooke. All right. My uh, name is spelled with a C B R U C E. Bruce, not Brooke. That don't even sound right. Uh, it's Brooke. Uh, what's that thing outside that you feed? Actually, there's two of them. You know, outside, you feed them, pet them, and uh, what's them called? Uh, you mean the cats? Yeah, cats. So how do you spell cats? Uh, C-A-T-S. And what's that C sound like? Uh, that's different. That's spelled with a C-A-T-S, and my name is B-R-U-C-E, Bruce. It sounds like an S. Okay, tell you what, you call yourself what you want, but in my mind, the truth is, Brooke, you're Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Okay. <sighs> what did this start out? Let's see. You hollered at me. What did you want? Good grief. Oh, I was just wanting you to tell the people that's listening. About our company last night. Oh, <laughs> gosh, that was such a long way around just to get that out. But okay, uh, last night, folks, I had some company. We had my uh, grandson and granddaughter over. Uh, they are, uh, one of them's from Washington, one of them's from around here in the Midwest. Uh, they're actually getting quite old and... Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to see them and see how they're growing up into adult people and uh, getting to talk to them. So we spent a little bit of time together chatting. And guess what? They're going to come over again tonight. Hopefully, if everything works out after I get off work, we're going to have pizza and sit around and talk a little bit more. That's cool. And that was my uh, beep saying I was getting too fast. <laughs> Oh, I thought you was going to go explode. Getting excited, were you? Yeah, I guess so. I like uh, talking about that, talking about my grandkids. And uh, see, there's something good that come out of my life. Even if I wasn't that part, uh, my kids and grandkids are the, the good of it. Yes, I'm calming down. Good grief. <laughs> That's funny. You better turn that thing off. Because every time you get excited, it's going to go beep. And you're going to go beep, 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 beep. And next thing you know, you're going to explode. Well, I don't think so. But <clears throat> thanks for the warning. And yes, I'm turning it off. There we go. No more beep when I get excited. Um, 
this thing's got a lot of fun to it, you know. I could play all day with all the gadgets and stuff. But let's go back to the show and talk a little bit about uh, a book I've been reading. Uh, I've downloaded a book off of Amazon. Uh, actually, several to go along with our supernatural um, phenomenon and our other stuff that we're doing, the paranormal. Oh, wait a minute. I need to get a paranormal sound before we do the book. Hang on. That was cool, wasn't it? Um, all right. All to get into the introduction of the book, which I'm not going to spend much time on. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am um, working diligently um, on reading some books about the paranormal. Uh, this book is called The Complete Ghost Stories, and it is... Um, kind of hard to read i don't know if you guys ever picked up a book that was written um a few hundred years ago or more and uh, it's written in another country so this book that i picked up the author is from england but not this century so the uh the writing is more geared toward his century and the places in england so I'm having a real hard time following the the stories and what they're talking about because I don't know the places and the language is a little bit different. But with that said, the first story in the book was about a collector. Now this collector um, likes to collect uh, books and a antique books and other articles. And he's uh, on this path to find this one book he heard of and he goes to this town don't ask me the name of it i don't remember but as he gets there he finds the location and i believe it's an old church or temple or some such thing and he goes in and tries to find the book and he fa finds other things but he's not really finding the book he's looking for so finally after uh, an all-day journey there and uh, a very long investigation in the place uh, he's noticing the description is quite good about the um, surroundings and about the characters so the the writing's pretty good but he notices the um, gentleman there staring at him and watching him and finally he asks about this certain book and the gentleman says yeah i'll take you to it and he notices the whole time they're doing all this conversation and on the way to the gentleman's location for the place that he's acting very strange almost paranoid and that is the main subject that's going on he's trying to decide what's so weird about this paranoid person they end up taking him to his home and when they go in he showed this book and he's it's far out he's he's very very happy about it and he asks if they'll take something for it and the guy takes a very small amount and for the book which is very strange and the guy acts like he's very happy to get rid of it which is very strange but he buys it and heads back to his hotel room and on the way out the door the gentleman's daughter that he just met hands him a necklace with a crucifix on it and and he tries to give it back and the lady says no you better take it so he's rid of the uh, paranoid people how strange they're acting and he heads back to the hotel and uh, apparently during the story, all these characters had been talking about him because they keep looking at him and he finds that kind of strange. 
So he starts getting a little bit of uh, paranoia about him. And he goes to his room, sets the uh, crucifix necklace down, and opens up the book. Now there's a very dark demonic figure painted or drawn on the book. And there, I think he's seen a painting of it somewhere. But as he's studying the book and being very thankful for what he found and how it come about and wondering what happened to the gentleman that wrote the book, and uh, he noticed uh, something out of the corner of his eye. And to make a long story that I have butchered really well, he... Um, finally sees it and it's a hand that looks just like the hand in the drawing a long skinny hairy hand with long long fingernails and he jumps up and runs to the other side of the room and he looks up and it's that dark demonic figure that was drawn in the book and somehow it's there and it's frightened him so bad and that was pretty well the story it was it was good to get there um but hey that's the ghost story of the day i hope you enjoyed it all right that was the story of the day um i'm not sure that uh, i did it justice Heck no, you didn't. You tore it up, burned it, stomped on it. What a story. Uh, next time, try to tell it better. All right. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll try to do my best. I will uh, keep reading. There are several stories in this book, so I'll present some of those to you. And I've got a couple other books that I'm reading through. Uh, with my schedule here lately... Which is probably going to ease up a little bit because the holiday seasons are over and the, the uh, big push, you know, for retail is gone. January always shows, slows down. So we'll see what happens. But anywho, uh, we'll try to get more stories to you. How's that sound? Uh, sounds like you're, uh, hey, we'll have fun. <laughs> Okay, good grief. So, Sonny, did you get any good Christmas presents? Yeah, I got quite a few, but I really like that uh, special food that you bought me. Oh, you did enjoy that. Well, good. How do you like the new headset? Well, it's not really a headset. It's a head single. <laughs> How do you like that? Hey, this is cool. I can talk and I can hear myself. And I hear you. Uh, it kind of makes my head lopsided, though. I want to lean over, and uh, when I walk, it kind of go crooked. <laughs> okay, well, um, you'll have to strengthen up your neck so you can walk uh, straight. How does that sound? Uh, it doesn't. Okay, well. Hey, I'm glad you liked it. I got uh, a couple of things. I got a, I don't know if I told it. No, we haven't been on the air. So one of my presents was from the kids and from Shannon, a feeder, a bird feeder for outside, which everybody goes, uh, what's the big deal about a feeder? Well, this one's cool because it's got a camera built into it. So I can watch the birds from inside the house. I can snap a picture of them, and it does a um, few second recording every time it detects motion, which and it downloads it on a a um, SD card, I think. Yeah, SD card, and it runs. It's got a battery that runs it for a long, long time. I'm gonna have to get a solar panel, I think, and plug into it. So I don't have to charge it because I got to take the darn thing down off the pole and plug it into a charger, which means I'll have to bring it in the house if I want to charge it the old fashioned way. So 
it's uh, going to be a solar panel charger for sure. But I've been uh, watching the birds, and there's a uh, cardinal female that likes that feeder, and his buddy or her buddy, the male fe cardinal, feeds on the other feeder, which has been out there quite a while. So I'm enjoying that, and uh, it's been a nice, uh, fun present. And my podcasting equipment, I treated myself to the new mixer board. Uh, my wife got me a new mic arm uh, so that I could hold up my uh, condenser mic. Uh, the other microphone stand arm would not do it. And it was a homemade one anyway. I made it out, out of a lamp arm. You know, one of those lamps with the magnifying glass on it and the light. I took all that off and made me a mic holder. And used it for years on my uh, ham radio station. So when I started podcasting last, well, two years ago, I stole it and started using it over here. But, however, like I said, it didn't have enough spring tension to hold up my condenser mic. So this one will, which is cool. So I plugged my condenser into the new mixer board and I hope the sound is better for everybody. If you've noticed any difference in the quality, good or bad, let me know. Uh, because your input is really what we need to know what to do and how to adjust. Uh, I've done it the best I can for my voice, for my ears. And um, we just have to go from there with everybody else's input. So we would appreciate it. Feedback. Let me know what's going on. I'll let you know what's going on. You're a dingbat. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> okay, stop. All right, I will if you give me a treat. All right, I'll get you a treat after we're done, okay? All right. Boy, I can get you worked up and get a treat so easy. Yeah, okay. So, tell the whole world how you treat me. Go ahead, tell them. I'm a good guy. You're the bum. <laughs> You've heard me and uh, Lily tease each other about being a bum, and now you're doing it. Way to go. But anyway, let's stop there, calm down, and get back to the podcast, okay? Okay, I'll go for that. I'm kind of enjoying this, uh, my first podcast, and I get to do and say whatever I want. And you know what's cool? Nobody knew it, but I went all the way into the kitchen, got me a snack, and talked to everybody from the kitchen. The Bluetooth really works good. Well, it does. I have to agree. It, uh, it's a pretty good setup, man. I, I'm telling you. We're going to get some miles on this thing unless it quits. And we're going to be able to use it. And hopefully um, it will take the show a next level up. Now, we still have to have good content. So that's going to be the trick. Uh, we're going to have to do our homework and uh, see if we can. What? No. We're not going to have to do anything. You're going to have to do it. I'm just here to annoy you. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. Okay, so now that we've got our parameters set and we know we know the guidelines, you're the annoyance and I'm the good guy. No, I'm the annoyance and you're the bad guy. Good guy, bad cop. Bad guy, good cop. I'm the good guy. Okay, I don't know what to think about you. You're just a little bit strange. Stranger than I am, but hey, it's nice to have you on board. Thank you for uh, volunteering to do this. Wait, wait, volunteering? You run after me, grabbed me, and stuck those headphones on me last year. And tried to stick that mic in my beak. Uh, I don't remember volunteering for that. Okay. Um... 
Maybe it wasn't quite total volunteer. Volunteer? No, it wasn't. Okay, maybe it wasn't. But uh, you enjoyed it anyway, right? No. That's why we didn't continue doing it. Remember? Okay. But now, is it different? Yeah, it's very different. Uh, it's great. It's no weight. I mean, this little thing hardly even weighs anything. And I can move around. And I can call you a bum all I want. Hey, bum. Okay. That's better than my name that you call me. Oh, you mean Brooke? Hi, Brooke. Hey, everybody on the podcast listeners. Brooke is his real name. That's B-R-U-C-E. Brooke. <laughs> uh, all right. So, I don't even have an argument to you anymore or for you. Uh, I'm going to have to think up a good Caesar. You know how to spell Caesar, right? Um, it starts with a C, I think, right? Maybe. I don't know. Caesar is S sound, not K. Okay, so that didn't change anything. You're still Brooke. <laughs> <sighs> okay let's go on and ponder some other things in life how's that sound hey that sounds great to me uh what are we gonna talk about i don't know uh what's your favorite song um you know the thing you like to hear donald duck what donald duck yeah, Donald Duck had a farm. On this farm, he had some knees with a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Oh, well, okay. Uh, I can see that. But uh, what type of music do you like? Do you like uh, country, rock, uh, cymbals? <laughs> cymbals. Uh, not really. They hurt my ears, uh, especially if I get in between them. <laughs> uh, I like rock and roll. Not the hard stuff, just the soft rock and roll. I like that. And, uh, I don't know, all of it? All right. Well, probably since you just hear what I play most of the time, uh, you don't have much of a... A choice or a way to make a good choice so you just pick what we listen to right now that sounds like a right deal uh, tell it like it is i am confined and i have to listen and watch what you guys listen to and watch i'm held captive everybody you won't let me outside now, that's not true. You was outside the other day. Uh, yeah, I kind of was. Yeah, you went chasing them cats, remember? I had to go grab you before you beat them up. <laughs> that one cat was freaked out, man. He took off running. I was nipping that tail, and I almost caught him back up. Yeah, yep, I forgot about that. <sighs> Yeah, I was afraid you was going to get in the neighbor's yard and one of their dogs was going to come after you and chew you up. That wouldn't have been no fun. Uh, yeah, that's why I come and got you and took you back in. All right, well, thanks. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for thanking me. Well, don't get sassy. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see what we can talk about now. Uh, uh... uh... Are we singing? No. What are we doing? Uh, we're having a conversation, meaningless conversation. Oh, you're saying what I think is meaningless. I see how you are. Okay, don't take offense at everything I say. Uh, we don't do this when we're not on the podcast. Why are you doing this to me now? Because I can 
<sighs> You're almost as bad as Lily, man. She's always picking on me. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brooke? Yeah, um, it's Bruce. Whatever. Hey, before we shut down for the day, let's talk about that new movie we watched. That was cool. Um, you mean the one, uh, Top Gun? Yeah, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah, that was a good movie. I uh, agree totally. Uh, did you like it a lot? Oh, yeah. Anything with flying. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good movie. Well, you know, I enjoyed it when I first started watching it. I seen a lot of the uh, scenes from the older Top Gun, and I thought the whole movie was just going to be a replay of the old one. So I was kind of looking at it negatively at first, but then they started doing some new stuff, which made it better, and the storyline got better, and I can actually say I really enjoyed it quite a bit, so I would recommend that movie. You don't have to have watched the first one uh, to watch the second one, but although Watching the first one will put you in the right mood and you'll know what happened and why there's so much um, bad blood there between a couple of the actors or the characters, I should say, not the actors. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty good, good movie and good storyline. Oh, I think it was great. And uh, we should have watched it again. Uh, that would have been fun, but you... Being an old man, had to go to bed. <sighs> Sleepy baby. Hey, I have to get up and go to work a lot of times, you know. Um, besides, I need my beauty sleep. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> All right. So since you got to talk about Top Gun, let's say we save one more joke for the day. And, uh, and then we'll let everybody go, and we'll end this show. Oh, no. Okay. Tell me your joke. All right. Let me get ready. Uh, let's see. Why did the coach go to the bank? Because he wanted money. Duh. No, 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 no. Why did the coach go to the bank? I don't know. Why did the coach go to the bank? To get his quarterback. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nope. All right, folks. <clears throat> That's it for the day. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I really appreciate all the listeners tuning in and joining us and riding along with us over the airwaves. And I should say the electronic waves on the uh, internet, because that's how we mostly do it nowadays. Uh, airwaves is kind of a lost phenomenon. Speaking of airwaves, I've been listening to some more pirate stations, and uh, apparently, well, not apparently, but because of the time that I get home and I have um, left in the evenings, I'm really not getting very good recordings, and a few of the nights that I've tried over the time, it's been thunder and lightning somewhere in the country, and on shortwave, you can hear it for miles. So it's been really hard to get an ID, but I'm going to con continue to try to record some of these stations and get an ID um, that's an identification when they label themselves uh, so i can play it back over the show so you can hear what's going on and maybe you'll get interested in that too oh yeah maybe they'll get interested or bored to death uh that's more than likely uh you have a tendency to do that you know hey i like listening to the radio I actually still listen to AM radio sometimes because I enjoy the, uh, uh, I guess, the uh, back to the past feeling. I forget the deja vu 
or whatever you want to call it. And I, I, the, the fading in and out of some of the stations at night, just kind of a, a good old warm feeling. Uh, you mean when your brain's going dead because you can't really hear it? Yeah, that's a really good feeling. <laughs> okay, well, anyhow, thanks everybody for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you come back. And uh, Sonny, I want to say thank you for being here. Oh, Brock, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to have to put up with that name you've named me. That's not any fun. Oh, you poor baby. Yep, deal with it. <laughs> okay. So have a good day, everybody. I hope you have a good weekend, and I hope you tune in and come and see us, or actually hear us again. Uh, 73 and God bless. This is the Ugly Quacking Duck. I'm Bruce. I'm Sunny. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by and being part of our show. We hope you enjoyed your time with the Ugly Quacking Duck Podcast. Don't forget to follow us if you haven't already. Leave us an email. The address is theuglyquackingduck at gmail.com. Visit our webpage, theuglyquackingduck.wixite.com forward slash theuglyquackingduck. You can leave us a comment on that website or you can also buy us a coffee and tell your friends about us and come back 73 and god bless <laughs>